So on this Friday, I want to give you something funny to experiment with on the weekend. It's nothing serious, but it's kind of funny. So um, in Bitwig, you can create here some kind of note clip. You can go into the note clip. And then with my new script called TextMaker, you can choose a scale, um, maybe natural minor, D sharp, right? Then you can write into the arranger and you can type in some kind of text. So you can say Bitwig is cool, right? Octave start where you want to start the text, text gap, which is the um, gap between each letter and then text width and text height, right? Then you say write, then it writes the text into the note clip. So like I said, nothing serious. It's more like a funny experiment. If this is possible, I always wanted to do something like this. And you can also see it in some kind of uh, Jacob Collier videos where he just does this live on the keyboard. But here you can just type it in. Um, you can also clear this and uh, write something else. And you can also overwrite. So if you click write twice, right? You just overwrite what you just written here. But you can also say um, hello world and then go one octave higher, right? And then write, then you write something on top. So you can write multiple times into the note clip. When you press write, there is no clear. With all my other script, I basically combine a new generation with a clear, but here you can clear separately and uh, write multiple things into the piano roll note clip. Um, octave two, right, right, looks like this. And um, we can also see it from the outside, from the arranger, if you maybe want to use it to make videos more fancy or you want to write yourself a text or I don't know, you know, it's maybe a funny joke, party trick. I don't know how you want to call it. Um, of course, all of these things are in a scale, right? So this is a melody, right? And then you can add here maybe a synthesizer to it. Convolution and re or delay. Right, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't sound good. But uh, for this, I thought, okay, this makes no sense because you have all these notes stacked on top of each other, right? So you have this massive, big clustered chord. So you can make some changes here to it. You can uh, clear it and then you can say, I want to write instead of normal, I want to write it in italic. So a bit tilted. So it looks like this. So now you have at least an ascending line. Or maybe an octave lower. You can also write normal. And then you can say, uh, I want to increase the text height, right? Three semitones. Looks like this. So it's more stretched out. Can still read it in a way. Or maybe write this one octave lower. Clear, italic, right? Then we have your text width. Um, three, right? So you can stretch out um, all the individual gaps here between the nodes if you want to. Um, text height, I showed you this text width, text gap. So this is, um, let's bring this down here. Uh, make this normal. Um, this is the gap between each letter, right? So if you bring this down, 
can see all these letters are more closer together. You can also spread them out a bit more. So I could do all kinds of funny things with this. I, you know, make it bold or maybe create some outlines to it or maybe um, add the density. So when you stretch it out here, um, text height, right? Add some notes between here so you can see the lines more clearly. Um, stuff like this. But I do, didn't want to invest too much time into this funny joke, right? So, um, but if you say so, this is pretty dope, please make it, then I probably do it. Um, but I think that's, uh, you know, it's enough just for this joke, in my opinion. So, um, if you want to look at the script here, maybe. Um, I had to define some kind of um, font. So this is each letter in the alphabet, right? Also, um, here's some numbers and uh, some, yeah, um, signs. So um, this is the letter A, right? So this is all the X and Y coordinates for each letter. And then I just place it inside of the piano. So it's actually not super complicated, but um, I could make it more complicated, right? More. Um, but you know, it's in my in my opinion, it's enough for this joke. So um, this is called Text Maker. Um, yeah, I put this in the description below. If you want to download it, just download the zip file. As always, put it into your controller scripts directory. Make a subfolder for a lot of people on Mac. It works better when it's in a subfolder for some reason. Um, and then you go to your um, controller settings here, right? And then you add it down here, add generic, use polarity, and then choose text maker, add. And then it should pop up on the right side here. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, let me know what you think. If I should extend on this, I have also a lot of other ideas for the piano roll I'm working on at the moment. So this was just a funny joke I always wanted to do. Um, Maybe it's funny to you. Maybe you can do something with it, something serious. Maybe it's a, a nice party trick for a video or for a stream. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Leave a like, leave a subscription and have a great weekend. Bye.